Hi, I'm Harriet Mace Powell, New York Magazine's fashion director, and today we're going to visit Victoria Beckham and discuss her burgeoning career as a fashion designer, look at some of the things that are going to be hitting the stores this spring, and also some of her fabulous frocks that we'll be seeing this fall. Why did you decide now to do this? Just the right time in your life? Your boys are a bit more launched, I guess, a little bit? And yeah, you know, it, it's been a lifetime in the making, to be honest with you. Someone in one of the, the, the tabloids today said this is like... Um, this is like a fashion love affair of, of mine, which, which it really is. I'm so passionate about what I do, and I love fashion. I always have. And the, the timing just seems right. I, I've been in a position to have worn dresses by the most phenomenal designers, and I want to share what I've learned with everybody. But you've got a spring collection, which was your first collection, which is just going to stores now, correct? Yeah, it's, um, we, we had an early delivery at um, Bergdorf in the US. It was such an amazing surprise to go there and see it next to YSL. Wow. It was, it was more exciting than having a huge album, I've got to say. So I can see that there is clearly some internal construction of very sophisticated corset. Yeah. I love the corset in this dress. It's a really flattering corset. But I really did my research. You know, I'm, I'm my customer. When people right. say, who's your customer? It's me. It's someone that likes to dress up, somebody right. that appreciates quality. I'm um, someone that wants investment pieces, and I've learned that over the years. Of course, you wear this for breakfast, right? This is just you kind of pop up, give the boys their breakfast. Actually, I do the dishes. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I nicknamed this um, the crumb catcher. So that's what, you know. Catches your crumbs yeah. when you're... Exactly. Bit of a messy eater. A glamorous messy eater. Let's just qualify. You're not just any old messy eater. This is um, a little cape. I love the femininity of the bow, mm -hmm. the masculinity of the contrasting zip. Yeah, I call this the sucky, sucky fashion, because <laughs> it really... You're going to get into trouble with that! <laughs> it's so technical, because it's sucky, sucky, it sucks you in, it really does. And the zips work both ways. Oh, good, smart you. Well, it's so often, you know, I wear dresses and you've got to dive in and ruin your hair and makeup. This is um, rubber we... tweed. Oh, yes, I remember asking if it was waterproof. <laughs> we were actually discussing whether we should just throw a bucket of water That's on right, that's right. Just to see. Just to see. And with these pockets on the side giving a little bit of extra volume, it really gives the illusion of having it's an even smaller waist. Which we always want. Something everybody wants. Exactly. Again, not everything is really low and plungy. There's a bit of mystery to the sexiness of your clothes. Yeah, yeah. Madam. I always think one of the rules, if you're getting your legs out, you should um, put the top half away, leave something to the imagination, um, and keep it, keep it chic. Oh, See you later. Bye. Thank you so much.